Are you in the mood for a short and crisp UX knowledge? In that case, the following snippet from our last edition UX this month is just the right thing for you. Have fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, today, the uh, situation is different like every hour. We work as much as we can so we can donate and support our people. Uh, our defenders, as well as uh, people who have uh, lost their homes due to war. And uh, sometimes rockets come, so we have to go to shelter. If you can uh, switch slide number zero. It is actually how our daily routine looks like. We work as much as we can. And unfortunately, tonight, 10 rockets targeted Kiev and three people died. And it is, it is a horrible situation. Uh, please turn the slide off. Uh, but on the other hand, we know that Germany is actually among uh, among those countries uh, in Europe who provide us the biggest support, and we are grateful for that. We are grateful for everything you do for us to support us and to help us to endure. So thank you so much, Shilin Dan. Um, yeah, about the situation then. I can uh, proceed and tell some stories. Like, I would say, um, we as a community, we try to stay as strong as possible and to support each other. When the war started, uh, I was lost for a while, but then uh, another co-founder of KVX doubted me and told me, Tanya, people need information. Can we do something? And we gathered, gathered together as a community and we created information portal with simple things like where, where to find diapers or dentists or where to donate blood to injured. And uh, for three months, we were building that portal together as a community and we were helping people and there are so many situations like that and we we just try to do our best and like right now the sun is shining the weather is great the roses bloom and there is summer yeah so. that, yeah that's the absurdity of the whole situation right so our obviously our theme is summer's theme the summer is starting uh the weather as you mentioned is nice outside. As we talked in our in German, we talked about the introduction. You have to think about topics at work about how to delight users, how to make things uh, a positive experience, and uh, no doubt that this is very hard uh, to do under these circumstances. So, I think yeah, it's really admirable how strong everyone is, uh, and yeah, seeing this. And this is exactly why we want to learn more about uh, the situation. Um, so how is your community doing in the sense of, um, are you still meeting or um, how, how is the community doing? Yeah, I would say that uh, actually when, when time is hard, communities uh, get stronger and actually due to community, many people have this kind of saving role. Um, could you please turn on the slide number two? I do. Oh, slide. Yeah, this one. So it is one of uh, many meetups that we do in Kiev. Uh, in February, uh, this February, actually, 2023, we had our first uh, offline meetup since the COVID. And we had great topics. We had great conversations. We, we've got many, a lot of feedback that it is actually what people need in the community. They need to see each other. They need to share the experience. It is crucial right now. And during that meetup, uh, there were two pictures. So the one that shows our awesome presentations and dreams and uh, friendly chat. And then uh, during the meetup, there was air raid sirens. So we needed to go to underground parking lot to wait till it's over. Uh, luckily, there are many underground pubs in Kiev, so you can uh, you can cheer up in, in, in any situation. And I would say it is something that signifies Kiev these days. We stray so strong, whatever happens, and we try to to get the everything possible out of the moment. So yeah, we, we kind of live in the moment. Yeah, it's understandable, obviously. 
So what are the topics that you're discussing on these uh, meetups? Is this normal UX stuff or is this war related or um, what do you do in these meetups? Actually, um, we, we discuss all the different topics and because we are a professional community, we of course talk, uh, talk a lot about, about the professional expertise. And could you please turn on slide number four? Uh, so uh, if it comes to UX, um, many people, they just want to help. They want to help their country. They want to help their people. And over the last year, I can, can easily count more than 50 digital products that emerged uh, as volunteering initiatives. And uh, the reason for those um, those digital products is there are is because there are people that need something. Some need uh, help to find uh, basic amenities. Others need help to uh, collect money and uh, to send donations to buy some Emma. Uh, others need help in sending their supplies from abroad to Ukraine. So there are so many different digital products and all of those products, they have three things in common. First one is usefulness. There is no, just no time to spare it for, for something that is not of a critical need right now, just, just the harsh reality. Another one is um, empathy. So there are people that suffer in, a di in different ways. Some, uh, some suffering you can see, other suffering is deep inside. And whenever you talk to Ukrainian, you never to talk, you, you, whenever you talk to your friend, you have to understand, at least to try to imagine this situation and be as, uh, as, as understanding as, uh, I have forgot the word, but like you have to feel, to feel what they feel, uh, or at least imagine, and you have to be sensible for many topics. Uh, so empathy is extremely important. And also there are many projects that emerge around actually building this empathy and uh, about having, helping other people psychologically. And another topic that becomes more and more um, required now is accessibility. Because of stress, many people, um, because of stress and physical injuries, many people are not as apt as they used to be, even young people, uh, like uh, because of blood pressure, because of uh, uh, constant stress and staying at night without electricity. The eyesight, even of young people, is not as, as great. So accessibility has become even more important. And then again, there are people from, that have lived through occupation and they are coming back and we help, have to help them to in, reintegrate. And when we talk about accessibility, it's not only about how bright your pixels are, but actually how um, empathic your copy is. So there are, there are so many different ways. And yeah, these three topics, I would say, sum it, will sum it up. So I assume I that uh, you do projects obviously differently now than in comparison before the war and uh, websites, as you mentioned, the copy has changed. Um, yeah. Then, yeah. And have the products you're working on changed as well? Are you, you already touched on this? Um, yeah. um, uh, right now, uh, I, I am personally work on um, one uh, commercial project that I used to work before the war. And so I have great team that helps me. Uh, and their work didn't change that much, but also me, like many other designers in our field, uh, currently I work on several also um, volunteering initiatives. And for those initiatives, yeah, the work has changed. Uh, actually, time to release has increased significantly we have to be super fast to have something happen um yeah and on the other hand we try to understand those people will work with, with even more so we we actually communicate to people more yeah and despite all this tough daily day by day work uh you still manage to do uh ux projects in your community so um 
you have a user research book as far as I know. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I have this it was here. created by the community, right? Yeah, it is. It is a book written by by the community. Uh, we've got uh, ten authors from Ukraine writing about user research. Uh, we decided that right now, like, it's so great to have a physical artifact many people can relate to. And along with the physical artifact, could you please uh, turn on slide number two? I believe the one with the book. Yeah, uh, so um, physical artifact actually helps to bring community together to, to have this feeling of a, of, a, of a shoulder of your colleagues by creating it, by making something together, as well as with physical book, we uh, have decided to uh, raise uh, some funds and send it to Ukrainian armed force. Uh, we have launched this book last Saturday. You can see our team sitting in a, it is actually a shelter, a very uh, nicely renovated shelter that we have used to have the presentation. And with, um, with this event, we have also uh, risen uh, 3,000 euros to support uh, our armed forces. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> This goes along with still there, it's bad time still. You try to have a nice environment, uh, have nice events. So, yeah, bring a little bit of light into the dark times. That's, I guess, uh, what you try to do with the community right now. Yeah, absolutely. We have a saying in Ukrainian that uh, the brave uh, always get the luck. Yeah. <laughs> so it is, it is our way of doing stuff. Yeah. So... Is there anything that we are, or more precisely, our viewers can do to support the community in your country? Uh, we already so so grateful for to your community and to your country for supporting Ukraine and for su supporting with ammunition, supporting uh, people of Ukraine who are coming to Germany and helping them to integrate. Uh, what else can be done? Uh, of course, it is super important today more than ever actually to um, do your best to understand the situation from uh, first hands. Like if you have, if you know someone from Ukraine, talk, talk to Ukrainians, follow Ukrainians uh, channels and news to have your and to form your own understanding of the situation. Uh, remember, I believe it was a year or two ago, a social dilemma movie on Netflix. They already told a lot how social media can create a bubble. And we have to be um, persistent in actually breaking down those illusions that are created for us online and to have our own opinion. It is super important, especially today when the Russian pr propaganda, it is actually... Uh, active in so many different ways. Sometimes even for us, it's difficult to understand that it is propaganda, propaganda because, before we do the analysis. So I would say uh, be strong, be, be aware, um, talk to your government, if possible, send uh, donations to Ukraine, support Ukrainians in your country, and we, we shall uh, Travel and glory to Ukraine. Yeah.